far as look at, looking back at this last week, how would you, I guess, describe the way things went against North Carolina State? Because it seemed like once Sean stepped on, maybe things got a little bit better for you guys. But beforehand, it seemed like maybe NC State was kind of getting a few guys into some gaps. Um, pretty much, it's, it's, it's like, you know, we kind of started off slow offensive line-wise. I wouldn't say it was really the quarterback. It's kind of like us guys kind of started off slow, but once we started picking it up, and when Sean got in, it wasn't really that. Because Sean got in, we started picking it up. It was pretty much like once we got our stuff together, start focusing in more, locking in more, taking coaching, that's when we really picked it up. And, you know, of course, Sean got in. He's going to he's going to ball out. If Everett's in, he's going to ball out. So it was pretty much on us, basically, getting our stuff together. Well, for an offensive what lineman, with the announcement like, made today, like, does it really about, like, make an impact for you guys knowing who the quarterback is going to be or, or do you care about who it is? We, like, or, I mean, how does it work for you? Not at all. It's, you know, of course, you, you both both of those guys are here. You know, you're comfortable. You get comfortable with both of, both of those guys over the summer and everything. But uh, pretty much, it's kind of it kind of is on us. We're that one unit. We have to stick together. We pretty much focus on our own things. The quarterbacks and receivers are on the other side of the field. We we down here by ourselves, so locking in on our techniques and our proper hand placement and everything. So it's pretty much on us. So it don't matter who's in the backfield, what running back, what quarterback. As long as we do our job, I feel like our team is going to be successful. Guys have struggled with false starts this season. Um, just sometimes we have mis miscommunication amongst each other, or sometimes we're just a little too anxious to get off the ball, and uh, it pretty much impacts the way you like gets in your thought process. Like I don't want to false start sometimes, and you kind of start false starting, or you know, uh, snap counts might you might hear that snap count is on one other person might hear snap count on two, and he jumps because he thinks it on two. And just little things like that. So it's like sometimes the miscommunication and like not trusting yourself, and you know it kind of happens like that. So how does Coach Trickett address that? You know, he, he, like you know, of course, any offensive line coach is going to hate that his offensive lineman is jumping offside. So he pretty much tells us like, if you put more weight on your hand, and you focus in, lock in. You know you're assigned, You know what you're doing. You're not going to fall start. You know, and it's, it's pretty much the bottom line. If you know what you're doing. You trust yourself. Trust the technique. It's not going to happen. So that's something we have to fix amongst each other. How do you kind of get out of your own mind, though, when he starts, you know, when he's, when these penalties do pile up? It's, it's pretty much it's being comfortable going into the game. Like, if I watch enough film, if I, if, if I know what's going to happen on the field, if I know the plays, I know what I, what I got to do to make that play happen, I'm not going I'm not gonna think about anything else. My mind's going to be clear, so I don't have to worry about, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I hope I don't fall start, too. You know, it's, it's kind of like if I'm more comfortable, if I know what I'm doing, I, I, I would never like fall start. So sometimes, you know, you get you lose that trust within yourself, and sometimes you go out there and you ball out and Dalvin runs for a million yards. So. <laughs> What's it been like for the line this year to kind of go through just personnel changes, injuries, the fall starts, but yet here you are at this point in the year. What's it been like to kind of deal with all that? Um, you know, like, like I said, it's, it's not an excuse, but it's the truth. You know, we are young offensive linemen. We are, we, we are, uh, we do trust each other. We hung out with each other all, all, all this summer and everything. We trust each other and everything. So it's just like a building process, you know. We, we lost a bunch of guys who we used to look up to, we used to depend on and like help us with plays, help us with technique and everything. So now it's on us to like make decisions and step into that responsible role. So we're working into the groove, you know. Any guy that rotates in, we trust that guy to go in and do the job. So. You know, we, we build it up, and but probably by next year we're going to be like one of the best offensive line in the country. I firmly believe that. In your opinion, what's been the best game or stretch for you guys as an offensive line unit this year? You know, um, pretty much, I want to say after the Georgia Tech game, that's when we really picked it up. And I know, of course, we lost the Clemson game, but to me, I feel like we played a very stout game at Clemson. You know, we gave those those guys a run for their money. They was on the ropes, so. You know, we're, we're getting better each game. We're learning how to, like, play play in the actual college game instead of, like, being used to being at practice and going home like we did last year. So we get into the groove, and like, like I said, I firmly believe next year we're going to be one of the best offensive line in the country. Those losses to Georgia Tech and Clemson, how much has that done, you know, for you guys to grow and, and, and kind of learn, you know, hard lessons that you guys could use for next season? Well, like like any any game, you know, when you lose, you want you take a step back and like look at the mistakes. And of course, like at Georgia Tech, we left a buttload of touchdowns on the field. So uh, you know, little 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 mistakes that we offensive linemen offensive line made and everything, little mistakes receiver made. But you live and learn. You know, okay, we won't make that again. So so we go and take it out on the next team. We get to Clemson. Of course, we made mistakes. Um, we had a bunch of goal line drives. Okay, we know we can't do that again.
live and learn. So, you know, that's, that's all it's a learning process, you know, because like I said, we, we are young, but we're getting more and more experience. And next year, you know, I firmly believe that we're going to be ready. How about those older players on the offensive line last season? Um, how much did you learn from them last season? You know, what I learned from them is once you know what you're doing, you know, the game is easy, you know. Because we, we're physically able to go out on the field and dominate. You know, it's all about knowing what you're doing, knowing how to get to that get to that spot on the field, knowing your technique and everything. And you can, you can be relaxed and comfortable because there's nobody that's going to overpower you. We're all big guys up front. You know, it's just like doing your job, doing your technique and dominating. And that, that was those guys showed us last year. They were very comfortable. They knew what they were doing. And they dominated so I feel, and I feel like we can almost be better than them. Thank you so much.